Would you know what to do if you were stranded on a mountain? We talked to Vernon search and rescue team leader to get some information that might just save your life. You can always have, have a partner. I never go alone. Let someone know where you're going for the day. That's the same for if you're at a resort or if you're backcountry skiing or backcountry snowmobiling. Let someone you know let someone know where you're off to and what time you're expected to get back at. Even if they've not told anyone, but they write it down on a piece of paper and leave it in their vehicle on the seat. The number one thing these days is a cell phone. Um, and if you're going into an area where the cell phones won't work and you're going to be remote and having a sat phone or a spot device, some way to contact um, help. Things needed to stay out overnight, um, emergency blankets, a uh, small first aid kit, some way to make a fire. Uh, best case is a snow cave. So most, most people have avi gear, avalanche gear with them, peeps, probe, shovel. Um, so with a shovel, you can make a really nice snow cave. And then uh, learning how to do that before you go out. Um, and that's something that you can keep nice and warm and even with just like a candle or something like that. And would you know what to do if this situation happened? The main thing to do is... Um, Stay calm, and then trying to get out of your um, out of your gear as well, and then having somebody not necessarily go for help. But those sorts of things, you really want to have somebody there to help you. Gradually pull the snow back from the sides. So you can kind of wrap down to the person, but come in from the side, um, so then you're not pushing the snow down in directly on top of them, and then just pull the snow away. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly in Kelowna. Find your next boat, bike, RV, or snowmobile in our Power Sports section. You can find it in the Classifieds button on the yellow masthead.